Hello, my name is Rachel, and I'm here to guide you through learning how to write a comment header for your code. I will also show you how this important piece of code documentation can affect your grade on your assignments and test. Let's get started. Every coding file starts with good documentation that describes the code. There are four key elements required for good documentation. The first item is the name of the author. The second is the name of the organization the code was written for. And the third item is the date the code was written. The final element is a concise description of the functions the code performs. Let's look at these elements in an actual program. In this program, our code performs a simple function. The program displays our name and address on the screen. Comments in C++ begin with a double forward slash. There are other means of writing comments in your code, but those will be covered later. For now, just stick with the double forward slash. Let's begin our comments with the first element, our name. In this case, I type Rachel E. Van Horn. Our next line is our organization. In this case, we will type CITA240. Notice the double forward slash. Next, we type the date. Again, don't forget the double forward slash. The date today is 1 June 2008. Finally, we type a description. We start with the double forward slash and then something descriptive. How about the purpose of this program is to display a mailing address using variables? That's it. It is probably one of the most critical pieces of your code and yet the easiest. So let's look at the grading rubric to see how commenting your code can affect your grade in this course. The grading rubric is used to assess every code writing assignment completed in this course. You will want to reference it frequently when you are working on your code. You can see across the top that various, various points are available for different sections. In this case, satisfactory completion of the graded section is worth three points. A good completion of the graded section is worth four points and an excellent completion is worth five points. Let's see how our comment header fits in the rubric. If we follow the satisfactory column down, we find the comment header is mentioned in the documentation row. It looks as though the comment header must have all four elements in order to get even the satisfactory number of points for assignment. Even if any of the elements are missing or not filled out correctly, you will lose out on 25% of your graded work. This means a perfectly completed assignment is worth 100 points. But for some reason, you fail to correctly write the comment header, you will lose 25 points. To state this another way, you will have gone from an A to a C. The comment header is a critical piece of code writing, whether you code for a class assignment, a company, or your own fun. Remember the four pieces, your name, your organization, the date, a brief description of the code's function. If you get into the habit of starting every code file with these four comments, you will not only set yourself up for a better grade, you will become a much better programmer. Thank you.